Oh my god, welcome with Freeza's gym. You don't believe how many takes of this video I already did, but I hope this is gonna be the last one. So I'm gonna be super short and super clear about a very long and hard topic of workaholics, of people who spend 25 hours per day working, but they actually get zero results or almost zero, like where the amount of work that they put in is doesn't correspond with the amount of output they get because if you are putting 15 hours per day 10 hours per day working and then your results doesn't change to you know to 2x 3x all of that stuff then what's the point of you working more i, I don't know like if it makes you happy okay but if it doesn't make you happy and you actually want to work less but actually achieve more results this video is for you i'm trying to do this myself for the last like month i'm having some results and i want to share this with you main point here is that if you're going to the gym and you're always skipping the leg day, then after six months of doing this, you're going to look ridiculously. You're going to be unbalanced like this. You're going to be super big in your upper body and super small and weak in your lower body. Everybody's going to make fun of you. And uh, after a certain period of time, you're going to have health problems because you're not going to be able to carry that weight on your very small and tiny legs. Uh, the same goes in business. If you only spend time working and improving your sales, your conversion, your you know um, uh, your um, DM templates and all this stuff, implementing systems, you know hiring new people, but actually you get no results. There is a huge thing and a huge probability that you're skipping your leg day, and your leg day actually can be way bigger than just a leg day. It can be your health, your relationships with your loved ones, wife. Um, husband, uh, you know, girlfriend, boyfriend, your relationship with parents, your hobbies, your feeling of content, maybe the industry that you're pursuing or the job that you're pursuing, you don't really like it. So how can you achieve good results in the, in the thing if you don't like it? So it's, it's, it's illogical. So instead of going and fixing problems with your relationships, with your health, with yourself, with feeling whatever, what are you doing? Are you happy in, in that? Instead of doing all of this, you're like, no, 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 no. I'm gonna, I want to go and I want to 2x my sales. I want to 10x my business by the end of 2024. I want to do ABC. I need to go for this training. I need to go for, you know, I need to go for Dubai and we need to close XYZ prospects. So then everything is going to be fixed. But guess what? It's not going to be fixed. The more you start uh, neglecting your other areas of life, the harder it's going to be for you and the less results you're gonna get because the more you're focusing all of your time in business, actually the less energy you have. And if you have bad energy, everybody in sales love to buy from people with high energy, from people that are happy, from people that are interesting. You, you can know 1000 different openers of conversations and 2000, you know, closer lines. But if you sound like piece of a shit, Nobody wants to buy from you because you're boring. People don't like boring people. People like people who are solving problems. People like credible people. And if you are boring and you're not interesting and, you know, your eyes doesn't glow, then how can you persuade your prospect that you are the really the person who can solve their problem? Nobody wants to give your business. Nobody wants to trust you because they, they see that you cannot have like if you're bad in health or you're bad in relationships or you're bad in your hobbies or bad with yourself, I guarantee you, even if on the surface you don't look like that, in the bottom, you, in your words, in your intonation, all this stuff, you're relaying all of that information. And if people don't, if people read that thing, like they, if they, if they don't feel the connection with you, like even if the deal would make sense, they wouldn't buy because something doesn't match. You do not resonate on the same thing. So the main point for you is, Stop doing the bullshit stuff. Go do the right thing. Do what you want. Do what you feel you need to do. If you feel that you have been skipping health, do more health. Decrease the work time and do more health time. Because once you start doing the health time, instead of being in balanced person, you actually start to becoming the balanced person. And the more balanced you are, the more stuff you have, the more things that you are doing for yourself, the happier you feel. And the happier you feel, the more meaning you see in what you're doing. The more meaning you see in what you're doing, the more efficient you are. And the more efficient you are, the easier it is for you to go and actually close people, do good, better DMs, improve on your conversion rates, you know, improve your sales team, hire more people and grow and actually grow your business to the next because this is possible in 2024. You can go and you can grow it to the next. But if you do not do all the things that you need to do, like all the stuff that I mentioned here, you cannot do this. If you want more information on this or if you want to understand how I came up to this, like what am I doing right now, you can always DM me in Telegram if you if this thing does resonate with you. I can help you. Maybe I can guide you through some, you know, beginnings of your journey, like share some tips and tricks. 
it's always good for me because I want to help you to become better. And if better means you need to spend, you need to stop, you know, listening to Web3 Sales Gym and actually start doing more about your health, that's okay. That's the thing, that's the sacrifice that I'm willing to do. Um, hit me up on Telegram DMs. We have an amazing community of Web3 Sales Gym. Actually, guys, I'm so proud that we have almost more than 150 people in the community, people that are coming there, that are sharing their stories, their tips, tricks, things that they are interested in, you know, getting everybody, you know, sharing different opportunities, networking. I'm so grateful for you being here. So I just want you to be more happy, more successful and have more sales. And sometimes having more sales, meaning stopping on your sales things, stopping from your business and stopping and looking at the business and then actually looking on the thing that you have been skipping for the last couple of years. So wishing you to find the thing, face your fears and go and kill them. See you. Bye-bye.